Alright then, let's get started, shall we? So, at the end of last year, I believe we paid off at least one of the loans. So now we got two loans, but those are pretty high in there. Very low on cash right now. I'm pretty sure that we will be able to make some money, especially since we need to get 400,000 less money to make a profit this year because of the loan payments. I'm actually going to try going on speed 2. See if we get the crashes today or not. But anyway, today's uh, goals are pretty simple. We'll just try to pay off as much of the loans as possible. And then maybe expand a little bit of the housing and such. Like, import steel in very modest quantities. Also, we got both of these here. Got a 60,000. I'm going to send this one already out. Now let us gather up a little bit of bitumen. We don't currently have a lot of it. Oh yeah, we've been buying bitumen by the looks of it. And that's the crop ship. How much crops do we still have? Ooh, 600 tons of crops there. Hmm. There's a lot of plenty over here as well. Yeah, the problem is that this capacity on this is just not good enough. And the fact that the roads here are not clear. Uh, it's slowing us down a little bit. But at least the coal is doing fine. Oh, well, I say that, but it's actually a bit low right now. Mostly because there probably hasn't been enough workers in there. Plus the ship is already... Are you moving or not? Okay, now you're moving. I think there may have been a collision or something there. Okay, so we've got 400 tons of crops there. I don't think we're actually even getting any of the crops there right now. I'm just taking it all from here, because this is the closer one. And it does have higher quantity of crops right now. And these trucks over here are doing a pretty good job. Going up the ship here, so it's already... Oh, it's already leaving. Alright then, it's leaving with 30... 9,000 rubles worth of stuff, so that's not too bad. Here, we are running a bit low on alcohol. We do have some food. Or quite a bit of food, actually. How are we doing in terms of food over here instead? We've got plenty. We still don't have any alcohol here. I guess it's not the end of the world. The amount of alcohol over here is rather meager. Just taking to the warehouse over here. Right. We're now down to 668 tons of crops there. We're actually still making a little bit of money this year, at least. Let's have a look at last year. So last year we made technically a 900,000 profit. Of course, when you factor in the loan payments, we technically lost quite a bit still. But now this year, with the only two loans, of course, one of them is higher rate than the some of the previous ones. But still, it should be quite doable. We made a 67, 68,000 because we're selling the... It's either the coal... It's probably the coal because we're too many still over here. Alright, so at some point we do need to build a bit more around here. But there's not a huge amount of stuff that we can do there without steel. How much do we have any steel? No, we don't. What are we trying to build right now is the next question. We've got a road, and then we've got the flats which probably need steel. Which is why they... they got a tiny bit of steel there, but they will need more. Unless we are bringing in... Oh, we might be bringing in more. Like the last of the steel that we had. I mean, technically, it would be possible to just import a tiny bit of steel again. We could probably afford it, but I'd rather not do it right now, in case there's some uh, unexpected expenditures. At some point, I think we do need to set up a road maintenance thing somewhere around here. Maybe near the... Hmm. I don't think we can fit it here. We could fit it over here easily. 
would be able to maintain the main road here. And how far have we done the road here? Pretty far. What are we doing this bit here? We need a lot of gravel for this. They haven't actually started shipping anything here. Oh, it's only one of the construction officers even assigned to this. Okay, so yeah, we're reaching the end of what we can do with this one. I mean, we can still do it manually. It shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, that's... Right, well, the downpost are off. Well, of course, I should probably upgrade a bit more of the roads here at some point. That, that's probably gravel road still. Maybe thinking about upgrading a bit more of this bit here. Buildings on fire. Oh my. School? Oh no. Luckily it's just down the road from the fire station. Oh right, and yeah, we were upgrading bits of this road here. There we go, everything's fine. How are we doing in terms of population? The government loyalty is pretty piss poor. Hell isn't great. The average lifespan is a bit low again. But we have almost 4,000 working it actually. If you factor in the 500 living with their parents, yeah, we got more than 4,000. Almost uh, 4,500 workers available, which is not bad. I don't think we have that many jobs available, quite frankly. Right, so over here, just getting the panels, we probably, yeah, we used all the steel there, so we can't really do too much in there. Then we got the excavators available. They're not doing anything right now. I don't remember where I still have the mud roads. Some places like this one, for example, that has mud roads and asphalt plants. And the unemployed to the army that will reduce unemployment and recent housing. Um, sure. Unfortunately, that's not an option yet. I'm sure that it will be. Let's uh, go try a bit of road there. Not that we need it, it's not going to be used other than for fire hazards and such, but. You know, it will look better. At some point we do need to upgrade that one as well, actually. We'll probably do that soon, like that is filling up with gravel right now. I don't think we are using asphalt anywhere right now. Like the only two things that we're building are the gravel portions of two roads and the housing which requires steel. Which, honestly, I think I'm going to purchase not enough to finish the house yet, but enough to, you know, get a little bit further. Now, if we have a look at the total economy, we are actually still doing pretty good profit here. Like, it's not even the end of January, we've already done 120,000. Of course, there is the bitumen exports included, which is 60,000. some point, let's see, so we've up... Did we upgrade this road? I don't... No, I don't think so. That seems like an asphalt road there, but that's gravel road, so I, we do need to upgrade this road. I'll let them upgrade... Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, upgrade... Oh, bollocks. Okay, I have a plan. There's no footpath going through there anymore, so I'm going to cancel these roads. Okay, right, and contract that there. There we go. Now, just hope that we can get these built quickly. I mean, we don't need the asphalt right now, so it's not the end of the world, but you know. Now there's a truck just here waiting. Oh, new vehicle type. Not that we really need it. Assault metal fire, yeah, that could happen. If that happens, we'll just use a little bit of cash to get that road done.
I actually wonder, would there be a lot of footpaths that we could upgrade around here again? There are certainly some. Well, let's upgrade that one. It's not in a particularly large use. It should be not, or it shouldn't be interfering much with the regular traffic here. And how far can we reach from here now? Pretty far. Well, I'm quite reached to the housing area here, but almost. Like, there's still a little bit that we could probably... Wait, what? Oh, you're taking workers to uh, somewhere. Taking it to the flat... Why are you taking this road? That's like... The most convoluted route that you can get there. Okay, I'm... Hmm... I don't know how she'll feel about that. I mean, I suppose it works, but it's still... A bit confusing. Okay, we're almost back to 200,000 again. Good. We've got a lot of... Hold on, what, what, what? Why did you go around there, did you? No, I, I think I may have seen something wrong there, but never mind. Now the route through buildings will reach there nothing, just don't worry of this pleasure comrades on the front. That sounds about right. Hold on, so where are you heading? You're taking the... oh right, yeah, that makes sense. So we are at least making coal there. We got 400 tons right now. I'm guessing the ship left again not that long ago. No, it didn't. Isn't that the... Touching from the speed, it is. Yes, there is the hopper ship. Okay, we might have a problem with coal now. Mostly because we've been unable to get the workers in here. In well, I think the workers over there are fine. It's just the workers in here that are having the problem. Doesn't seem to be enough in there. We've got 500 tons, but that's not going to be enough. I mean, I'm sure once we get all the. Yeah, once the snow melts in about three weeks or so, we'll be able to get a lot more people working over here again, and that means that we'll probably, keep, probably be able to keep on top of the exports once again. Over here we still got almost 50 tons of coal, over here we have run out again. I still haven't gotten rid of these. I mean, there would be quite a bit of wood in the forest here. A little bit, we're not using the wood all that much, I suppose. Wait, that seriously, I'm just taking the most convoluted route around there. Like over there, then there, there. Still don't have all the steel, nor do we have all the prefab panels actually. But we are getting the panels at least. What? Why are you going through there? Could it be that the winter species or something? No, I suppose it could be. It could be that the winter speeds are not affecting the footpaths. Therefore it judges uh, this footpath to be faster than the road itself. That's actually probably it. Right, university is doing fine. We can't actually research anything else anymore. But that's alright. Now then, how are we doing in terms of crops here? We've still got 560 tons of crops there. We've got 22 tons of crops there. We've got still 400 tons of crops here. They're not doing too bad. Oh, right, yeah, 
gravel processing plant doesn't have a lot of people, but I mean, it doesn't need to have a lot of people. The gravel that we use doesn't go down that quickly. Because the flats are almost completed, we still need a little bit more steel. And the long road is being worked on. Got an excavator there by the looks of it. And then the other road around here. That's been... Wait, no, that's been completed now. And they are working on this one. Just need a bit more gravel. Let's have a look at the long road. I mean, it does stretch pretty far already. It's not too bad. And this one... Hold on, where's the... Oh, it's right there. Okay, well, they've done a little bit. They got on like a few truckloads in there. But yeah, it's a little bit surely we'll get the road over there. I think once we reach there, I'm not going to bother with the remaining of that until we get a city here, quite frankly. Or we'll start building the city itself. And honestly, for the city, we could start planning on the buildings themselves, just not connect you. Hello, Nigga, how's it going? Um, yeah, I, I could probably start planning in the city itself a little bit. Uh, just not put in the final road connections, quite frankly. Honestly, probably not a terrible idea. Welcome back to the Republic, comrade. Indeed. The population is 8100. Fairly steady over there. Okay, I'm slowly filling up this one with bitumen again. That is taking fuel to... Oh, right, it's taking actually fuel over here. Unfortunately, we don't actually need any fuel here right now. But better to be safe than sorry. We've all got a lot of crops in this. And the crops that we get in here are getting used rather quickly. I mean, both of these just using everything that they can. I wonder, would it? No, I think uh, what would benefit us here more is just getting the road coverage or the road maintenance coverage to reach over here rather than upgrading more of the roads into asphalt roads. Like, sure, this road would actually be a pretty good idea. It's going to need some asphalt, but that's alright. Because we do have the road connection there again. That one's requiring three more truckloads. I actually wonder... How much would a damper cost? We've been using these. They have rather small capacity. Now this would have a bit higher speed. It would have a lot... a much, much bigger capacity. And this one had a fair bit higher capacity and much higher speed. You know what? I think I'm going to buy one of these. And is there... No, that's already full. I think I'm going to... I'm going to sell this truck. Actually, no. Do I want to sell it? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to send it over there, and I'm going to send this one over there instead. Slowly upgrade some of the vehicles so we can actually get stuff done a little bit faster. Because it has higher capacity and higher speed, so it should be pretty good. Especially along the asphalt roads, it's going to be very good during summer. Now the question is, what use do we have for the old one? I mean, we could maybe use some of the old vehicles from here to work as the start for the next city. Oh, and the snow is melting. Huzzah! We'll be able to enjoy the higher speeds now. We can actually... Is this the... Yeah, this is the new truck. Let's... Although it's going for the long road. But with the extra speed gonna do it pretty quickly. Yeah, I could go for another construction office.
Oh man, that's just filling very quickly. It's a bloody, bloody good thing as well. Okay, uh, well it's driving a steady 60 kilometers per hour right here, but once we reach the new areas, we should be reaching a bit higher speeds. <laughs> yep, and it's very sunny here in the uh, Soviet Republic of uh, Shazash Khan. Sh uh, I, I butchered that name, and it's my own name, bloody hell. Okay, so we're driving 86 over here. Not too bad. Oh wow, that was a bit of a teleport there. I did not know that we were quite that advanced. Need <laughs> a couple of shots of vodka to pronounce it properly. Possibly, yeah. the name you gave it is never butcher if you change the pronunciation it changes I mean that's one way to look at it I suppose right so how many vehicles can we fit in here still another seven we don't necessarily need quite that many but yeah getting the extra vehicle over there sure enough it costs a fair bit but it will speed up things a little bit in the long run At some point, I do need to set up the second bridge here again. At some point, just so that I can upgrade the roads down here. Did we get this? No, we didn't start upgrading that road, but we did start upgrading this one. It's already halfway done, with the asphalt at least. And is the crops here going down? Maybe. And we haven't quite... Oh, actually, we should be starting... All oh, right, yeah, we upgraded that into asphalt. Stalin somehow pronounced <laughs> differently. Stalin ground, of course, everybody would follow the new pronunciation. I mean, true. Right, we're already at 300,000. That's not too bad. What have we exported this year? Oh, we got oil export. Okay, yeah, that would explain a fair bit. And then there was the bitumen, a lot of coal, and alcohol, and food, and a bit of livestock. Alright, uh, it seems a pretty good year so far. And that's a big part of using dollar as well, we don't have any of those. But yeah, with the new tractors over here, we are actually doing we're doing two of the big fields, and this is probably going to be doing the small fields around here first, which is fine by me. At some point we may want to upgrade a bit more of the road here, just for the trucks, so that they can do it a little bit faster when they get stuff from here. We don't need to worry about it right now. Right, so we bring in yet more crops. At least the numbers are going down here a little bit, so we are actually getting it a bit more effectively here. Just look at the blackbird. I mean, we kind of started uh, upgrading the road there, but we then forgot that we were doing it because the snow covered all of that, and I have a short memory. Your name was R71 until some president named it as R71, so they simply changed it. Oh, fair enough. The tractor over here has already done two of them, and it's going for a big field now, probably that one. Actually, hmm. Are the... I'm pretty sure that the trucks here are busy. Yeah, they kind of are. I'm going to import some steel, actually. 
once again, slowly buying it. Now we can get the housing done and we'll have a bit more workers down here, which means that there's going to be a huge traffic and there's still hundreds of shoppers waiting to... Okay, there's just in a bread line there, essentially. Did we... Okay, we've done most of this already. But we'll soon have a proper road connecting all the way here. That reminds me. We did want to upgrade this one. I think we'll wait until we've done at least that one. And how are we doing this one? Okay, we're about halfway done with the gravel by the literally. Oh, we've actually got quite a few workers there. Not too shabby. Right, I have to re- oh, uh, this is actually completed. Okay, so this is filling up rather quickly, I could say. And they got most of these services around here available. Is this- oh, the ambulances are constantly away. Well, at least we have ambulances here. And luckily they didn't- they just need to drive in there and turn around. They don't need to go all the way around, unlike in the big hospital. But it is helpful. Have we... Okay, so we've got a fair bit of food there. And we are bringing in more. Got a lot of workers there, but we don't have... Oh no, we actually do have crops there, don't we? We do, we just don't have a lot of places to export it, I presume. Yeah, they're pretty full. Nice to meet Zorik doing. Good question. It's a 52 tons. It's not too bad. Actually, 54 now. How much food or meat did we import? A tiny bit of meat. No food. Now, last year we did import a fair bit of food at one point there, but... Yeah, no, I think everything's alright now. Well, for the most part. How are we doing in terms of the loads? We still got three point uh, three eight, so quite a bit still. That's heading out with another forty thousand. Okay, so the price of alcohol has probably been climbing up even higher and higher. Oh, a new ambulance type is available. So that is already almost done. These two are growing. Oh, it went over there. Okay. Right, did we... We did get that done. Hmm. I'm wondering, should, should I upgrade that road? I mean, I'd need to get a separate road over here to connect first. It would be doable. But now I think I'm going to upgrade this area next. Especially now that it's uh, summer. It should be much easier to accomplish. So what we're going to do is we are going to cancel the roads here. Probably a little bit faster. And then build the road from here to there. And then that one. upgrade the silo asphalt road we could still bring crops from the farm true but if I want to upgrade this uh, road here then they wouldn't be able to reach either one unless we set that as a source but yeah we're now upgrading the roads over there once these are done we can then get rid of these roads and we'll have a bit extra room here which Actually, I wonder. 
it might just have enough room for a uh, road services thingy. Maybe. Actually, do we? I don't think we need that road anymore. Or either one of these. Now, at some point, I'd like to upgrade that, but that's not really an option right now. Unless we set up uh, one of those road cargo unload thingies. Then it might be possible, and at that point we wouldn't really need this one other than for the fuel. There's space for another description. Now see, that's not a bad idea. I think there would be space there, uh, but that would be in warehouses. Do we even fit a medium here? No, not a medium, but I'm pretty sure that we could fit in a small one here. I might need a bit of, uh... That is in... Flattening to terrain. But yeah, we could technically fit one here. Let's, uh, do that. Let's just get a connection from here to there. So what do we need here? A lot of concrete, gravel and asphalt. We should be getting those soon, although we first need to get this road done. I slowly started working on these. That's good. Oh right, yeah, if they want to do that, they need to go all the way around. But that's uh, slowing it down a tiny bit. On the other hand, they should be done relatively quickly. Right, it's a few truckloads and it's done. Well, I mean, then it needs a roller there, but again, that's not really a problem. We can bring it with a truck. Assuming that it's not being used elsewhere. Right, so this one's full. How is the situation... Oh, population is actually dropping a little bit. A lot of people escaping in. I suppose it might have something to do with the fact that... Pretty much no one is loyal here. Okay, 59 tons of meat, good. And we got full food over here. I think... What we need now is the... Road cargo thing here, and get rid of this road. Although, well, let me... Let them contract these roads first. Otherwise, it might be a bit too many things at once. And that is driving pretty nice speed. Well, it's a few kilometers extra on that asphalt road, so it's not too bad. Doesn't ask for five buses to come in and spend a few months on road. I mean, inspection. We are citizens. Yeah, that's probably something that we'll have to do, or just get a lot of propaganda. I suppose that would work as well. Right, so we still have 250 tons of crops here. Now, how's the situation here? We've got 138 tons there, so these two can be working full speed, essentially. There's 250 tons there. I suppose it's not too bad. Right, so this one's going to need excavator, but we've got one excavator at the long road, then we've got another one over here, and then we've got the paver over there. I'm guessing the bulldozer is... It's not there. It must be somewhere. Oh wait, it shouldn't be on this side. Yes, it's suit. Okay, so let's have a look. Where are you? Oh, right, you're on... Oh! Okay. Never mind then. That's where I needed you. See, they're not all idiots, just most of them. Now the question is, what do we want to place this as? Or, like, what do we want it to do delivery? We could set up 
need to work more on the props delivery, which might mean... Actually, I wonder... No, I don't think there's a way for me to get that connected to anything with the factory connections, I'm afraid. Maybe we could uh, check. Okay, so there's the back door access. Hmm. One to two more for crops, maybe for the coal, if uh, not for export or moving something else. Maybe. I mean, what I could do is I could probably put in the export trucks all there and maybe get another one of those and have it like uh, do a mixed duty to either get props from here to there or get stuff from here to there. Like that might work. Okay, pretty good progress here. I'm gonna need one more truck I'm afraid. Done a little bit of work on this one. Okay, now we've got plenty of workers there and we've got plenty of coal here, so that's good. Now that there's a steady flow of workers, that certainly helps. Although, let me have a look at the road technical services thingy. How big is it? Like, I wonder. I did a little bit of terraforming, I could probably fit it here. Or is there anything other that I could maybe fit in? Oh, it would certainly need some work there. Um, unless we place it somewhere around here, just take a little bit, or like one small farm away, and we could probably fit it in here. Kind of. We did put one in there, yes. But the thing is, it doesn't have a range all the way. Like, especially now that those roads are cut down, but... Like, it barely has range over here. Of course, it doesn't... Oh! You can set preferences. Oh, and office for... Okay. I'm an idiot. I, I swear that wasn't there all that long ago. Okay, so we'll add this to 2,000 meters as well. And you're gonna favor asphalt roads. Smart roads only, let's say, 20. And then gravel roads can be, I don't know, 30. And bridges, I think I'm gonna go with un another 50. Okay. But we might be able to reach over there. Okay. Nice. We may need a bit more vehicles then, but... Over here, we can probably drop the... Oh, make sure that the asphalt roads are on 50 here as well. Then we'll go with... 30 on the... We'll go with 40 on the gravel now. 35. Nice compromise there. No bridges over here, so we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, we'll probably need more vehicles in there. We now have still oh, 300,000 rubles. Not great, not terrible. Got that small gravel road there. How are the roads over here being completed? Oh, we're starting to work on the distribution office here, so that's good. Although, honestly, we can probably keep these export trucks here doing their own thing, and we can just put in few more crops trucks in here. Delivery and stuff, and... Uh, the coal storage is filling. Like, it was a thousand not that long ago, but the ship is already there. Okay, so this is already being completed. Soon. This needs a bit more gravel, but that's alright. This one needs everything. Well, 
Actually, no, it doesn't need concrete anymore. It needs asphalt and gravel, though. And we got the walls for this. We might actually have the steel, even. Hmm. Now, I suppose we could maybe fit in one of the road cargo... Hold on. Road cargo stations in this bit here. Need to flatten the terrain a little bit, but that's not terrible. Oh, right, we don't have excavators at all. Okay, we'll do that later, but we can fit it there if we want to. I wonder if we could rotate it in a way that it would shorten the distance to the exports even further. So if we could connect the road somewhere around here and then still connect it there. It might be possible. I mean, uh, let's have a look. Can we build a warehouse? Well, actually, we could. But then for the warehouse, we'd probably need another unloading or cargo loading thingy here. So I'm trying to think which way would be the best here. If you want to get a connection to this as well. Or... I'm just trying to think a bit out of the box here, but if we could maybe get... Well, we might need to do a bit of terraforming here, but if we could place the warehouse in, like, in between here, we'd have a connection through there. I mean, it probably wouldn't work quite as it should, but... Or... We can get rid of this entirely, get a bridge through here, we can have the... Uh... What are they call again? Forklifts. Like, uh, just get some connections in here. We can have forklifts taking the stuff from the warehouse itself directly there. We wouldn't need trucks. And the trucks could be relieved on other duties. Oh, well, one of the excavators is no longer available. Is that? That is filling uh, slowly but surely. Oh, we're actually working on this one now. On the other hand, I'm wondering if I could get a road cargo station somewhere around here. Could I then maybe fit in a connection through here? We could have one of the... Go look at the things, the crossings here. So I'm actually going to pause for a quick moment. So let's say we place one right about there. Or actually, we place one right here. Might get a bit in the way. Okay, that's about as close as we can get it. Let's say we place it there. Oh wait, what's there? Hold on. Yeah, there's a road cargo station right there. Okay, so could we fit in this one? Not directly. But let's say if we have a forklift garage here. I haven't used these before, so I'm not entirely sure how well I can fit it in here for the purpose that I need it for, but we'll find out. Let's say we put the garage in here. Come on, there we go. Then get the factory connection from here to there. And I wonder if I take away that one. I'm not sure if I actually want to take away that. Oh, there's actually room for four trucks in there. Interesting. That's actually going to be good for the 
food warehouse in uh, Zakara itself. Now, technically, it might work, what I'm thinking. So, if I was to place in one of these here, and then get the bridge over here to get over the forklifts. I mean, that is an option here. Um, I'm sure that this kind of does work. I'd rather maybe connect to that one, so it connects directly to the warehouse itself. I wonder, is there... Hmm. Now here's an idea. We might not need to take that one away. But let's say if we get rid of that connection, put in one of these here, connect this to the factory itself, we, if need be we can connect to the further connection there, that's not a biggie, and we can connect to this one, and then we can also have a connection that goes there, then from this connection we can go under the road, into another connection here, I think that will work, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do that, it's gonna probably screw up everything, for a while, but in the end I have a feeling it will work. Right, so we need to get rid of the road a little bit here, just so that we can fit in everything. Right, so we got the road, we can do the factory connection. Actually, I wonder... Let's say we place it here, and we then connect... No, are you saying that it's too close? It's too close. Okay then. We demolish that. Quickly unpause so we can get moving or get building again here. Wonder, could it? If we place it there. Okay, that's too sharp of a turn. I kind of feared that. Demolish that again. I mean, Katmando did suggest something like this. Maybe not quite this convoluted, but how about we actually do the factory connection through here? Yeah, I suppose that would work. Then we can just have a connection through here, which connects to the... If we place that, and then connection through there. And that should work. Although, actually, uh, no, I don't think it's gonna work. Not quite like this. But if... Can we now get this into a position where it would connect to every one of these. Well, I mean, technically, that should work. There's connection there, connection there, connection there, and then connection all the way there. Yep. Now we just need to get a bridge across that road again. Make that out of prefabs. Assuming that we can do it. We may need to get a bit a rid of a bit more of the road there. Okay, not quite. Okay, I think we need to go at least three steps up.
Connection angle too sharp. Okay, that may be a problem. Yeah, but we know that three steps up is going to be good enough. Can we actually... No, the pillars would be interfering there. We need to go a little bit closer there. Angle is too sharp on the connection there. Okay, let's try that from the other side. Because we've got a bit more room on that side. To work with if need be. Not quite. I will get this working one way or another, but I may need to move a little bit of these. I wonder if the concrete bridge would be any better. What? Let's see what it needs. In terms of resources. Not really. On this side, maybe. A lot of concrete and gravel and asphalt. Okay, it's not that bad then. On the other hand, we got the prefab panel construction. Might as well use them. Or production, rather. Okay, how about... We get rid of these... Uh, actually, get rid of that one. And then we can go to the infrastructure and delete these. And try to do a little bit further this way. And maybe get it a bit further that way. What's connecting to both of those there? So we'll place it down there. Then can we get the bridge first? Angle connection to Shah. Oh, okay, um. Which way do you want that to be? Or is that road just cursed? It might be just cursed. We do a tiny bit over here. And then get the bridge from here. But that would technically work. Now if we go back for the forklift connections here, can we get Let's uh, rotate a little bit so we can see where we need to hit. So it have to be somewhere through here, most likely. Okay, the infrastructure is on the way there, so that's not going to work quite, quite like that. Okay, so if we cancel the plans there, we may need to get this uh, small bit over here in any case. Let's have a look at the concrete bridge. Would it be more favourable or not? In terms of the legs there. Possibly. We have a look. Okay, so we do need to do something like that. And then can we we can connect there. Right, so now let's try the factory connection. No, it's still hitting that leg there. We rotate that maybe. So let's cancel these two. And demolish that one. The other actually. 
Oh no, we need to get a connection through there, and that's still interfering with that, no matter what we do there. I really wish that there was a building that would have forklifts to go over a road or something. Or like, uh, go through the same road, essentially, is what I mean. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board here then. Let's actually put on the wireframe so we can see a little bit better how the controls go here. It's fairly flat over there because there was a road in there. I mean, yeah, I suppose I could take away that road here still. So I think the concrete brick... Well, actually, let's have a look. Just for the heck of... Uh, like, trying to understand this. Okay, now we... Yeah, we definitely need this bit here. Otherwise, there's not going to be a bridge. So one, two, three. That was about how many we need... Connection is too sharp. So not going to be there. Actually, let me turn that road a little bit towards. Keep the road itself as short as possible. But yeah, now it's a bit better direction, perhaps. Now the prefab bridge and concrete bridge. Let's have a look at the distance between the legs in here, because if that's, well, you can get pretty far apart, because okay, so that connection is too sharp now. How the hell? Okay, so I don't think I can actually connect the bridges directly to Crossroad. It needs a tiny bit of road there. In any case. Is that... That might be going even higher now. Yeah, I think actually the prefab panel bridge does have a bit wider gap between the legs there. Right, so, what are our options? Can we get a factory connection through here? Not really. Did we get one through there? No, not really. What if we... Maybe if we duck out a little bit of that area, it might be possible. True, I suppose I could try getting the factory connection first. So let's cancel those. But the question is, where do I want the factory connections? Like, I do want to connect... Essentially... I'd like to connect, like, all these three. So, that, that, and that. Now that location we can easily move, that's not a problem. Because that is too sharp, I mean... Hmm... We could move that that way a little bit. But that connection is possible. Now I think I'm gonna... Demolish this one. Oh, 
hold on, there was... That connects everything. Just the way I want it. Now then, get a tiny bit of road here. A little bit of road there. And then let's try to get the bridge again. Now I have an idea, what if we get the bridge crossing a little bit to the side here? Yeah, they probably can't leave directly from there. Okay, so that's not an option. Okay, so that's too low. I'm just trying to figure out one way or another to do this. It's not making it easy though. I'll build the... Okay, uh, so we need a bit more room or just build right on top of that. I think we may have found a solution. There we go, then I suppose we can cancel that road. And we'll start building these. We don't need anything that we don't produce, technically speaking. Other than technically cement, but you know. So we'll start building that. It's a bit of a messy one, but it works. And then we just need to get the factory connection. And build that. So yeah, this is going to stop our exports for a little bit, I'm afraid, but should be alright. Now we've got our ship bringing in crops here. Okay, that was a struggle. But it's done now. Well, it's kind of done. Get rid of the wireframe. Hydrate, will do. Right, so we got the road connection over here being worked on. Still needs a bit more work over there, but slowly but surely. But these are the coal trucks, by the looks of it. Do we actually... I don't want to put any more work for our ships, but they're already... Not ships. Uh, construction officers right now, they've got already way too many things that they need to do. But slowly but surely we'll get this done. And at least at this point we can make uh, asphalt roads from the start, and it's not going to be a problem. Now the problem with here is that we don't actually have any connections, so these trucks are just going to be waiting there, other than the livestock truck. I guess we'll be exporting a lot of livestock for the time being. Oh right, and we won't be able to get any of the food from here. Okay, that's going to be a problem. Also, did we... So we got the garage here, we may need to buy some forklifts, but that should be alright. Yeah, well, that's being worked on at least. I haven't brought anything here yet. The final gravel for this one, actually not quite yet. It needs one more truck. Go to a warehouse instead. Ah, uh, probably yeah. And just load that and that. Probably don't need to wait until load. I mean, we can still stop there for the time being, but since they're not getting anything there, we'll leave. So that in the future, we just need to delete that stop, all the extra stop, once everything is working again. But that's probably going to take a while. 
because we've got the gravel on there already. We do need the workers. We've got the micropods on their way though, so that shouldn't be too long. How's the factory connection over here? Oh, right, I need some concrete as well. Interesting. I'm guessing all the mixers are busy as well. Not yet. Because we don't... Oh, right, yeah, we don't have any of those connections, technically speaking, quite ready yet. Is that... No. We're just gonna... Not wait until loaded and go over there. And load alcohol and food. Actually take the... Oh, you're... Just the alcohol truck, okay. The problem is, we don't have connection from here to there, so the food is not getting transferred there. What I'm gonna do for you, is you're gonna go directly there. And load food. So that we can at least keep the food truck factory running. It's just making sure there that is it done yet? Is it done yet? Or are we there? Are we there yet? Okay. Um, there's gonna be a tiny bit more gravel here. That bit of road has been completed though, so that's good. And yes, I appreciate the workers here, but we just don't have the gravel. Speaking of gravel, let's have a look at the long road here. How far did they get? Oh, they did all the gravel portion of that. And they got the paver in here. Do they have asphalt? Oh, they do have asphalt heading this way. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, yeah, there it is. How much do we have bitumen over here? We got about 200 tons already. I'm guessing we might need some bitumen. Yeah, we are importing it. You know what? I'm going to send it to the Soviet borders again. Just so that we can get a bit of bitumen in. Right, so you're bringing exports. Just so that we can at least keep the money rolling in. But does that? That has most of the gravel, not quite everything. That needs more asphalt. It does have some workers in there. But with this setup, we can still use the stuff from here. Oh, and they are working indeed here. Just need a bit more gravel on... Well, actually, both of these. And then they've done the first phase. But it ain't too bad. Okay, you drop in presumably gravel on that, yep. I'm guessing we should be getting some workers soon. That is indeed the case. Where are you heading? Are you heading for the road here? 223 seems to be this one, yeah? And this road is being worked on. Oh, right, they need asphalt over here to keep on working on the distribution office. But yeah, with this setup. We don't need trucks going back and forth. Of course, the forklifts will still use some fuel. But we're going to use domestic fuel, so it's not that big of a deal. Although, investing in vehicles themselves is going to be a little bit of a time constraint. So we've got 220 tons of crops there, 215 tons of crops there. How much do we still have here? It's running a bit low, but it's alright. We are growing more, it's already about halfway done on some of them. And that is missing a tiny bit of gravel. That seems to be the message of the day. Got some asphalt over here. Just need to. All oh, right, the paver is on the long road, so that's not going to be available. Well, at least we got a little bit of work done here. That's missing. Okay, either one or two truckloads of. Uh, apparently, two truckloads of 
depending on which rock it's bringing it, but it's not the big one, so, or the bigger one. I'd say medium one, actually, but, you know, anyway. Um, so how much? Running a bit low on food there. We've got plenty over here, we just can't export more. I'm guessing there's plenty of lines up over here that we can, we can just load in. Don't have anyone working there right now. We got the gravel portion of that completed. We have started working on this one. Well, at least we got the gravel in there. Well, half of the gravel, let's just put it that way. Now then, how are we doing around here? Is everyone dying? Ah, the population has actually been increasing a little bit. Very little. <laughs> 400 people waiting in front of the ship. Whoops. That's, um, that's the, it's the true Soviet experience. So we've got a lot of workers moving in here. We are getting the asphalt, though. Well, that's good. Well, we've got a lot of workers there. Now we get the asphalt there. So it should get done relatively quickly, actually. Oh, they got all the asphalt there. Oh! Right, the truck doesn't need to wait there for that. Right. Well, that's handy. That's... Pretty much completed. There we go. Now they can start working on this one soon. Presumably. And it's not being assigned yet. I suspect there may be problems with that. How much would it cost to complete? It's only 2,000. Let's see, um... Oh, right, we can't actually select anything. Maybe once we have the garage we can actually do it, but... I don't know. You know what, I'm just gonna use the money to build that. New vehicle type. Oh! A tanker, I believe that might be railway stuff. How much would this... Okay, so a lot of these factory connections don't actually cost a lot. Yeah, no, you do have a point there. So, if we build this one... Is it now connected? Mm, technically, no. We need to get the garage up and running, but we can start building some of these. I mean, we do have a fair bit of extra cash right now, so we might as well use it. Actually, this was surprisingly cheap. Okay, um, right, so what we need to do is... I suppose we're going to add connection there. Load and unload. Then uh, load and unload, I suppose. Oh, right, they need forklifts. Uh, how much do they cost? It's a few thousand. Buy two of them. Now, I wonder, once they get a truck over there, is it going to start heading out and do the transports or not? And how much can they carry? It's not a lot per truck. Or forklift, but they can do a little bit at least. For some reason, on this angle that we we're watching it, or viewing it, it looked like this would be a ramp on top of the roof there. It's not quite okay. So there, there is the forklift going now. 
they don't wait until loaded in there, so... Okay, uh, at this point, uh, you... Are you one of those? No, you're one of the food trucks. You are going there, so you wait until loaded, and we can get rid of that up there. Okay, now they are actually transporting it. They're at least cutting down some of the corners, and they don't need to go refueling all the time, so that's good. Uh, There's a lot of cases of vodka in there. Actually, have a look. Is that... Oh, it's boxes. All right, then. Yeah, I'm probably getting more forklift is going to be useful. Right, so that's heading for refuel, I'm guessing. That's doing the... Oh, no. They're just going... Well, they might refuel as well. Honestly, I'm thinking about getting a second garage. I would place one here that does the transport between that and moving that. Yeah, they can not always fill one truck with the four of these. Well, I mean, what I'm thinking is. If I set up another garage here, we should be able to fit it in without a problem. We can connect it there directly, since we have the extra connections available. Actually, I was thinking we could probably fit in a third one over here if we need be. We can just sneak a road through here. You know what? Yep, uh, we're going to get the... That's actually not the correct area, but we'll get another port garage here. Okay, well that wouldn't allow us to get a second connection or second garage up there, but I will still do that. That way we're going to have uh, a lot more forklifts here. Now we should probably set up the fuel truck wherever it is right now. Select this one and cistern. Like when you go here, if there's anything extra, unload fuel there. But that well will have a bit extra fuel there. And actually, well that's not ready yet, so we can't actually unload there. It's another vehicle available using dollars. Right, so that's actually the only truck that is waiting there right now. That's not one of those. That's not one of those. Okay, so this one doesn't need to go to the warehouse anymore. We can delete that stop and wait until loaded. Is that... Is this being worked on? It requires still the... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do that. But we can start transporting the stuff from here. Oh wait, did we... No, we didn't set that one as a pause yet. The load food... You don't actually need to unload anything there because that's done on that side. But that way it can go directly there if need be. Like so. Right, so this row still needs to be completed. Speed it up a little bit. To free out the vehicles there. The bridge is probably going to take a while. How much fuel is each forklift? Um, it's about 200 liters, but it uses it very slowly. Like, as you can see, because it doesn't go all that quickly. 
Because you probably need one fueling per month or something like that with this speed. But are you one of the export trucks? No, you are one of the unload uh, alcohol trucks. I suppose we can find the... Okay, so you still go to the food factory. You don't actually need to do that anymore. Wait until load it there. We're running a bit low on food there right now, but now that they can actually keep on working, we should be able to fix that issue. Especially if we get a bit more forklifts over here. I mean, we can then eventually even get rid of the trucks on here completely, or at least these uh, trucks bring in the food and alcohol from here and just use forklifts. Although four forklifts per... No, actually, I think using the trucks is still smarter. Because we're going to use the forklifts over here, but it's just they don't load up so quickly, so otherwise we'd have to have a lot more forklifts in here to be able to keep the steady flow of it. Oh, okay, so there it worked. If they can reach a garage, then they can move along these parts. Yeah, so we'll just have these do the same duty as that one. And we'll have the trucks go between these two again. Yeah, I'd probably need quite a bit of those. Right, have we... We have started working on that, kind of. But don't have any workers there yet. And we are still at about 300,000 rubles. Let's actually have a look this year. 600,000 profit so far. June, so we paid about 600,000... No, 400,000 in loan payments. And we're currently at 3.2 million in loans. We have a look. Five-year loan. It would be 4.3% now. So if we want, we could take another 2 million loan and then pay off the uh, 1.7 million to get a bit better interest rate on that. I don't think it's going to be that useful. We can just, you know, keep on paying them. Slowly but surely we'll keep on getting more workers as well. Okay, so we've started working on the bridge now. At least on the southern half. And that's almost completed. But it still needs a bit more work. Actually, it needs more gravel. But yeah, this is going to be a busy place. Now, I wonder, actually... No, it's uh, too long for a trip. I mean, technically it would be possible using these same things to get a connection somewhere around here. Potentially, it would just be kind of a headache to get it in there, but yeah, it would be possible to get a factory connection all the way around here to the distillery. But again, it's the same problem of... It would just take so much effort to get it there connected the way that you'd need to have it. And you'd need so many garages to keep the forklifts moving. Right, so now we're working on the northern side there. So we've done the groundworks here, just need the prefab panels and then we'll need a lot of asphalt later on. And we need the gravel over there. We've got plenty of workers in there. So we're working, working on that one. We haven't done that one yet, but it is on the list. Not sure if we actually need the connection there, but it might be good as a, a backup plan. Like, I'm guessing that these forklifts would not be affected by the snow. That's at least my what my gut tells me.
Right, so over here we need bricks. We don't have bricks. We could buy bricks. Oh, we got a lot of boards here. Not that we need them, but we do have them. We're gonna buy 100 tons of, well, almost 100 tons of bricks. That's gonna last us for quite a while. Yeah, so that one's working quite well. And now that that's not technically connected to anything directly, we can't see what is in here. It's alright. We know that there's quite a bit in there. We got quite a bit of wood, not wood, fruit in here. Which is actually going directly in there as well as here. You bring some alcohol to the mix. You are loading in as much fruit as you can, which is six tons, good. We've got, oh, okay, it's filling up. A little bit. But I don't think that... Yeah, we need more forklifts, quite frankly. Which is why we're getting this one. As soon as that's working, then we'll get another extra four and just add in. Can we actually copy the... No, I don't think we can. Alright then. But yeah, we'll just add in that too actually prioritize the getting the food over there maybe well, there's gonna be a lot of traffic of course here in a little while eight forklifts is constantly moving around oh is that going for refuel yeah it is have we gotten any extra fuel here um can I oh yeah we have okay well that's not an issue then Yeah, it's only 0.2 tons. Or 0.22, actually. Hello, Gatman does. Well, we set up a forklift area here, which is basically just getting the stuff from between these three. It is technically going to be connected to the harbor, but I think with how small capacity each forklift has, we'd need so many garages with the forklifts that I think using the trucks is still better. But we can use these to fill up this uh, all these trucks rather quickly. Yeah, I got another one being built here. And technically I could probably... Get some more. If I get rid of that one, I could fit in easily another one somewhere around here. Maybe over there even. Or like, uh, need to have um, connections there. I was thinking about maybe putting another one over here connected to that one, but that had to be so close to the harbour itself, so it's not going to work. But yeah, we were kind of estimating that to keep the exports from here directly without trucks. Best way is a straight connection without the forklift. Yeah, true. But I couldn't really get a straight connection there. But this way we can get the food directly from here, either to the trucks there or to the warehouse here. I think it's going to be good in the long run. Especially once we get a bit more trucks in here. Of not trucks, uh, forklifts. But in terms of money, we, well, we're slowly accumulating again. How are we doing in terms of coal? Very good. That's the coal price. Oh, uh, this is heading back in. Let's have a look at the coal price, actually, for this year. Where are you? There you are. It's actually been going up. Not a lot, but still, it's been going up, which means even more profits for us. Huzzah! We had to do a bit of a bridge here and a little under construction. Wait, what? 50 A's? Oh yeah, it is. I mean, uh, well, how much have we been importing oil this year? Uh, 62,000 worth. 
but I mean, we have some more oil than we have bought, so it's not terrible. food over there. Alright then. How's the farming going on? It should be soon harvesting season. It is soon for the first ones. And that one's empty, so actually, I'm going to start upgrading that road in here. And afterwards we can upgrade that one and that one. And then at some point we'll upgrade the road around here, but it's going to take a while. Also, I noticed something earlier. I'm not entirely sure if you were here at Mando's, but there's now a range for these technical services. I didn't know this that before. Maybe it might have been added rather recently. But then you can set priorities to what rows should be prioritized and such. And that's pretty handy. Which means that we might actually be able to keep this one clear as well, to a certain degree. There was an update yesterday or day before. Well, that would explain because I don't remember that from like last Wednesday stream or anything like that, or Thursday stream even. But yeah, that that is a likely option. So we are building the bridge now. We we'll need the panels though. We got panels over here, but no workers, and on the other side we got the workers, but no panels. Okay, now we're getting the panels, and they are being used. To... Actually, no, they're not. There's no one in there now. Also, we did get the or one of the slightly bigger dumper trucks for the office there. So we got one extra here waiting. Once we start control, oh, 400,000 already. Nice. Early accumulating. Did we get another oil export or something? Oh, yeah, it is only oil. Let's actually have a look. How much will we be getting here then? This is 50... what, 58 was it? Yeah, 58 per ton. Yeah, probably somewhere around 140,000. Oh, and we're getting the coal exports at the same time here. Actually, now I'm a bit curious. I'll get back to that in a little bit, but last year, how much did we... We exported a lot more coal than oil. I was uh, curious about that. And the price is about this... Well, it's not quite the same, but it's similar. Similar enough, anyway. Anyway, this month. Now, 130,000. Probably... Yeah, it's probably going to go up to 140,000. So, have we done any work on the garage yet? I think we've done the groundwork, at least to some degree. Yeah, over 140,000. There should be still. I don't know, hit over 150,000. Just barely, but it did. Nice! Okay, so we're at half a million now. If we have a look at our loans, we still have 3.1 million in loans, but uh, we might be able to start paying off those a little bit again. Right, so, oh, we need steel there. Okay, let's uh, import some steel. We know that we're going to need it a bit, so let's import 28 tons. That will allow us to build some more stuff. For example, this one. We can continue working. And that's 10 tons, that's 11 tons of that. Technically, we'd have enough. I'm not going to bother with that quite yet. How much do we... Oh yeah, gravel. I'm happy to say the gravel is not going to be an issue at any point we're here. Unless we start having like an army of dumpers going there, but... Anything short of that is not going to be a problem. We should have an... Yeah, we do have a truck heading this way now with steel. 
That's good. We'll be able to buy a bit more of those over here. We still need a bit of asphalt. Okay, we've got a microbus heading this way. We upgrade that. We do have an asphalt here, we just don't have uh, anyone working there quite yet. Also, if we go to the long northern route, or road. Oh! Oh! Done pretty good progress here. Of course, uh, we started working on this like at the start of the year. Or that bit. Like I think it was like February when we started on that, or late January. The next one is going to be here, but these are actually too far away from the construction offices to be picked up automatically. It's not the end of the world, of course, but yeah, I think uh, we're not going to build any further than that right now. We want to start setting up the city here, and we might want to upgrade a bit of this road here as well. Since, uh, yeah, I suppose we can upgrade this pretty well, at least up to here without any problems. Also, we need to upgrade that road, so that's good. Now, if we want to upgrade that road, everyone needs to go all the way around, so probably avoid that for the time being. This road is still under construction. We got the workers, just don't have the asphalt there. Uh, yeah, we probably do want to have a uh, rail connection for workers and such. Okay. No cities in place. I mean, we do have the fire station right next door. We've got some people in there. There we go. But we do have the distribution office here now. But the question is, what do we want to do here? Yeah, we probably do want to set up the rail, actually. That is very true. I mean, I'm thinking about setting up first, like, the bus stops and such. And then figure out the uh, like shopping centers and schools and such, and then fit the housing around those. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could set up the stuff here. So you load over there, unload over there, unload over there. And then... I think I'm not going to send the trucks from there because that's so far away compared... Well, actually, it's not that much further away compared to the other one to reach here. I suppose we could use that as a load location and then we'll buy... We'll buy two covered hulls uh, right now. We'll use the T148. They're a bit expensive. They have a decent speed, though. They're already leaving. We've got a bit of extra crops there. Now, they do need to go all the way around here, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, we got the garage here. Excellent. Right, so where is the fuel tanker or the... Oh, is it already heading this way? Oh, yeah, it is. Right, so once you've up unloaded there, you'll unload there. Technically, I don't need to specify the fuel there. But might as well. To give the appearance unanimous. Because we've got most of the bridge down here already. It does need a lot of asphalt, though. And asphalt is something that we're still importing the bitumen now. We we never finished upgrading that road. I know that's gonna keep our dumpers even busier. Although one thing that I could do, I could start upgrading a bit more of the trucks. I mean, on the other hand, we use a fair bit of money already, so maybe I should save up for the time being. Now that we got the fuel here, yeah, I could upgrade a dumper. But I'm going to wait until the money goes back to half a million or so before I do that. However, over here we'll add these. And then buy another four. 
Now there's going to be a lot of busy oh, hustle over here. But that means that at least the food factory can keep on working at full speed again. Assuming that we got the... Well, we got a decent bit of crops there. There we go, we got ourselves a traffic jam. There might be more forklifts available. Maybe. I mean, is there... This one could carry... 0.7 tons. It has a max speed of 50. This one has a max speed of 45 and... 0.88 on alcohol, at least. And food. So it actually has a higher capacity, a bit slower speed. But that's not really a problem when the distances are so short. Okay, uh, we are working on the bridge here now. Needs a bit more workers there, but it's alright. Now that that's completed, and we got the fuel there. Now we got plenty of fuel. Although, okay, someone had to go in and refuel here. Actually, I think two of them have been refueling recently. Or since the last uh, bill from the truck itself. Actually, we can see if there's going to be an upgrade on the... Mm, there might be, or there might not be. Looks like kind of that uh, goes from 50s all the way to 2005. It kind of feels like there might not be a second variant quite yet. Oh, we got a fair... Oh, right, we just got in some over here. Right, so that's almost ready to leave. That's good. Oh, population 8400 now. Not bad. But yeah, I think, um, how much did the dumper that we bought cost? It was one of these. It was 17,000. Yeah, there might be another variant at some point, but we haven't seen one yet, and it's already 73, so... It's a bit hard to tell. Are we doing instead of coal? It was heading back, so I'm assuming the storage is pretty full. Well, they they have done a little bit of work on this road again, but since we don't have the paver in here, speaking of the paver, I'm still missing some asphalt. You know what? Once we get the truck that is bringing the asphalt in there, once it's heading back, collect that one. We're gonna send this one into the garage instead. We're gonna buy the truck. I know that we're buying it before we have the half a million mark, but it should work better that way because then it's gonna be directly at the garage already, or the office already, and it's gonna be faster and have high capacity. Actually, I probably should uh, follow this. It does go through the asphalt rather quickly, and it's so close, but I think we're going to need one more truck for this. Oh yeah, well, at least one more, maybe second one. Right, you go to the garages there, and we'll buy a new one over here. So, bumper, GE300. And where is it going to be heading? One of the roads. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, so that's going to be enough to finish that road. Huzzah! Well, enough to get that uh, asphalt laying at least down. Needs the roller there next, but you know, it's a little bit forward at least. Speaking of roller, I wonder. Have we done any of the work? Oh, right, we're working on that one as well. All oh, the trucks are needing to take the smaller road around, but it's alright. Oh, we haven't started getting the harvest, though. I already harvested those two. And technically these, I mean, we still need to pick up some of the crops in. Well, at least that one. What about this one? Oh, yeah, we've got 14.2 tons of crops here. We haven't actually picked up anything from there yet. Oh, 
harvesting over there. Yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic around here, actually. Not that it's a bad thing. Harvesters are... Well, actually, the harvesters have a surprisingly large fuel tank. Also, we do have some gas here at the station. Which, oh right, yeah, this is handled by the distribution center at the refinery. What should, ooh, 60 tons on that build, 27 on that one, and 45 on that one. Slowly getting the harvest on this one. Right, so the bridge needs a lot of work, but after that we'll have, well, most of the highway completed. At least up until here, and then we might start upgrading the road around here. All the way there, and maybe around here. Upgrade these roads. Maybe even that road. All the way there. I think at some point we do want to upgrade that one, but it's probably not required right now. 185 tons of bitumen there. And we already got 1100 tons of oil on this ship, and we just got the exports last month. Not bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Working as hard as they can. I'm guessing, yeah, the food is filling up quite nicely there. Are you... You're one of the food trucks, aren't you? Yep, you are. Once we're done with the bridges and all that, I think we will start uh, designing the unload area here. And then link it through there. I mean, we'll need to get a bridge here, which actually... Well, we now at least have a little bit of experience, so it's probably going to be connected to that one. Or... Can we actually get a connection through there? Because if we place it down on this side, then we'd have plenty of room on here for buildings. Wouldn't need the... Let me try that. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work or not, but... It, it might work. We need to do a bit of terraforming. To fit it in here, but yeah, that would save us a bit of, uh... Trouble. The road itself might be a slight problem as well, but yeah, we... We can certainly place it down here. Just need to terraform that area a tiny bit. You know, which do have excavators available. We do, okay, so we can do that right away. Uh, I think we'll use the... From send... Oh, actually, no, we'll go with average. Don't be too bad. It's going to get rid of some of the trees here, but that's alright. That way we'll be able to have a bit more vehicles in here, and they can stay here until the warehouse has room. There we go. I think we can use this... Uh, okay. It's a bit of an ugly road there, but if it works, it works. And we know that it works, so it works. Yeah, we've still got about 1,200 tons of wood here. Just waiting. We're not using it very quickly. Because we're not using planks all that much. Did we... we did contract this one already. Do you have people in there? I suppose... do we have the extra... steel yet? We've got 12 tons, so I suppose we could... Start building this one. Right then, how's the bridge coming along? Oh! We're rolling off the asphalt, that, so that does need a bit more workers there. They need a bit more asphalt in here, unfortunately, but that might be on its way. Oh, that one's full already.
Wait, are they? Yeah, they are they? I'll bring in the alcohol there. Slowly but surely. How do you hold two boxes like that? Like, I do appreciate that it kind of shows how full the truck is, or the forklift is. But, um, that kind of seems like against the laws of physics there. Just saying. So it will. Well, probably. Right, we're getting some workers here, so that means that this part of the bridge is going to be done right about now. Getting this bridge here was quite of a uh, trouble. We tried to go through the this area here, but it just didn't want to connect. Or it didn't have enough room, I suppose. So I decided to get a second road here. And that worked. We've got over 200 tons of crops here. Have we got on any domestic... Oh, we have got on some domestic crops on this one. Brilliant. Now it's going to run out pretty soon, but at least it's saving us a tiny bit of expenditures there. How much do we have here? 265 tons. I'm still harvesting on these... Well, all of the big ones, actually. We have one more that is not harvesting any of the big ones, so we've already harvested all the small ones. Looks pretty good. Now, how much have we done profit this year? Almost 900,000. That's not bad. We've already got 2 million in exports. We got 2.4 million last year, and we're already in... Or only on September so far. I think we're gonna get our record, record year. Also, uh, we haven't been importing all that much resources this year. But that's also giving us a lot extra. We have imported quite a few vehicles though, and some manpower to construct a lot of that network there. Probably the 3 million. Uh, yeah, 2.7 is probably not that far off. Like, it's somewhere around there, depending on how many oil exports we still get and so forth. Okay, uh, yeah, what well, is the top? I mean, crops is still the biggest one. After that, I mean, then is the cloth and electronics. After that, it's oil. Then it's steel. But yeah, um, it's not too bad. Now, do we have the... We do have the excavators there available. But yeah, what I am thinking... I should probably start setting up the large farms here, ready up. And then along the side here. And we can set up the road to go along here. We'll set up a, some sort of factory area here. Hold on, so we need... We need the farm. Then we need the grain storage just for the buffer, essentially. Then we want to have... A, a cloth factory. And then from cloth we have a connection. So, so it's a chain from the farm all the way to the clothes factory. But again, I'm not entirely sure if we have enough room here to fit in everything. Although... I wonder if we could get a bridge across there. Now, to have a bridge that could fit ships under, probably not. Not directly, anyway. But if we had that, we could probably fit in a bit extra farms around here. They only need road, quite frankly. Let's have a look a little bit here. How many big fields could we fit in here? Okay, the terrain might be a problem. You admit that much. I don't think I want to have the road into there. On here, but it's, let's say we place one there. We place another one on this side. We'll have a gap there to get a road here, maybe get the bridge. 
Let's actually have a look. Uh, how much would the arc bridges cost? They cost a lot of things. Go for as high as we can. Still causing obstruction. Oh. There's you, bridge. Okay, that works. I'm not gonna build that bridge yet. I think we're gonna just go with gravel road here. Actually, we'll go... Right along there. Could we fit in a small one here? Just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, we could. Maybe even two if we are smart. No, I don't think two, two is pushing it. But at least we can fit in one extra there. Right, before we put anything around here, well, I mean, we won't be putting more big fields in there, but we can put more big fields around here. We place one around, well, that needs to be more flat terrain, so that's not going to work quite as well. Although medium fields probably fit in plenty around here. Okay, so that would be at least a little bit extra farms. We could probably fit in another big one somewhere around here. Indeed. But around here? Nope. But probably a lot of mediums. Okay, that one's gonna require a bit more room. We can place two around here. But we'll have the farm area reach all the way around here, I think. Now the question is, can we actually fit in all the factories in here, is the next question. I certainly hope so, but I'm not entirely sure. I wonder, could we fit in one around here, maybe? It's flat terrain, I mean, ooh. Over here it would fit. Access can go distillery. Possibly. But, I mean, if the uh, clothing factory works in full speed, if, if I remember correctly, it's going to require quite a few tons of... Uh, if, if I remember correctly, it would be somewhere around uh, 2,700 tons per year or something like that, if it works in full speed all the time. So that's still pretty far, but... We can get quite a bit at least here. We fit in one more around here somewhere? Not necessarily. We could probably fit in a lot of small ones. Let's set up the... So if we have a farm, say, here... Twenty food tons for all tin fabric per day, then it's... 2.4 fabric for 1.2 clothes. Right. Hold on, let me let me check those numbers. Hold on. Uh, is it not? No, it's not over here. It's in the various fabric factory. Right. Yeah, I can take 20 per day. Okay, so maybe it's not all that huge. Yeah, around... So less than, eight, less than 800 tons per day. But we could also use some of the crops from here for chemical plants here. Which is actually not a terrible idea. Because that would require more oil pumps and... That's gonna be an issue. I mean, hmm. 
How far would I have to settle or terraform to get another oil pump in here? I re remember that the, it does stretch all the way there. I'm actually going to set up the... I'll figure out the factory connections here. Let's have a look. Um, well, the train storage is not going to be a big issue. There's the factory factory next. It has a lot of connection directions, so that's actually not an issue. And then there's the clothing factory, which is also not an issue. And then... I actually wonder... Maybe we should set up a warehouse between the... Um, clothing or uh, the fabric factory and the clothing factory. They can use the same warehouse, and then what we can do is we can set up a cargo loading station, even, and maybe a distribution center. Hmm, is a possibility. Was it the chemical would be in oil industry, wouldn't it? That chemical plant. It doesn't use a lot of crops. But having the extra crops in here wouldn't certainly hurt. And yeah, technically If need be, we could set up another harbor somewhere around here. Or another trip of crops. Possibly. We'll see how much this is going to be producing. I mean, we still have this area to fill in. But yeah, let's uh, get the farm first. Oh, right. We're going to need the fuel sta or gas station and the electricity input here as well. That's going to be another thing to take into account. Also, Ooh, right. Yeah, it's going to connect there. And that's going to be a bit of an issue. I think we can manage it, but it's going to be a complication to say the least. Right, but let's get the farm first. So let's say we place it down here somewhere. Then we're going to get the grain storage over here. Trying to make the factory connections as short as possible and make this as uh, tight as possible so there might be even more room around the factories for a few more farms. Right, so we got that. Then we need the fabric factory. I suppose that would work. And the clothing factory. Now do we... No, I think we do want to have a warehouse in between them. Wait, what? There we go. And I need a bit of flattening. Oh, and uh, do we not have a free one, or is it just too far away? I suspect it's just too far away. Yeah, we do have a free one, it's just not close enough. I mean, I suppose this is pretty far away. On the other hand, there was a way over here that... It, yeah, it would connect there, but... Only there. Okay, so that's not necessarily helpful. Right, I suppose we'll use money to flat into terrain here. Zoom in a little bit, so we'll get the connection. We don't use that, so we can actually do the connection ourselves. And then just don't use the money to actually build it. And we can set up the factory connection manually. Before I forget. There we go. Then let's get the... Closing factory. Oh right, we're going to need the bus though, but we can probably set it over here actually. We're going to have to flat into terrain a tiny bit again. Hopefully it's not going to cause issues. Okay, 
should disable that. Alright, let's then get the factory connection through there. Start building those, because we know that we'll place them there, and then we'll get the bus stop already. Oh yeah, we can easily put it in here. It's one of the moments where I feel like I'd like to say I'm so smart, but I don't know. I'm not always so smart. I'll just learn a fair bit in this game. We connect a railway to the warehouse. In theory, yes. In practice, not really. It faces the hillside here. That's a royal pain in the butt. I mean, technically... Well, actually, if we start going around here, it, I suppose, possible, a tunnel would probably cost a fortune, although we don't pay them. But yeah, a tunnel, maybe? Or we could go around here, it would connect somewhere around here to the main railway here. It's actually not a terrible idea. Right, so what we need here now, we've got the road connections, I'm going to actually do this all the way there, connect that there, then we need to get the, actually we could probably set the power on this side, like somewhere around there, so we don't need to worry about that, what we can do is get some footpaths here, connect to there, for example, it doesn't need to connect over there directly, we'll get a road connection here, road connection there, and there. But, oh, right, yeah, I did forget that, and I didn't connect this one yet. But, yeah, then we'll have the cargo, or road cargo over here. Okay, so if I turn it a little bit this way, it would technically work. It wouldn't look pretty, but it would be against the grid, let's just put it that way. On the other hand, if we place it here, we can probably still connect it. It would be closer to the road itself. Alright, and then I wanted to have the distribution center here as well. We're going to have a lot of things in here. We should just rotate it this way instead. Do a bit of uh, flattening to terrain. We connect that there. And build that road there. Then let's go and get the distribution center, which is going to be in the storages. I think small distribution center is going to be fine. At least I hope so. Because now the infrastructure is getting a bit, little bit in the way. So what we'll do is... We'll actually cancel this road here. So we can put in the... Distribution center here. So we can continue this road. Oh, right, yeah, I didn't connect that one either. Now then, how much power is this going to eat? Probably a lot. So what we're going to do... Oh, and we need a gas station around here. All the farming equipment and all that. I think we'll place it down here. Unless we could... No, I don't think that would interfere with the road there. I don't think I want to do that. But here we can certainly place it. Right, we can continue the gravel road here. Connect that. We 
Can we see how work is the current plant versus the next it can do? Uh, power plant. Um, it should be able to do... Yeah, I, I can look into that in a few moments. So I want to set up this uh, area here. So we can start constructing those. I'll actually set up the footpath constructions already. So what I need is just... Uh, mostly I'm worried about getting the wiring in here. And what we may want to do is get a transformer here. We actually... So we need to flatten this range and actually attach it here. We could place it down here. That would certainly work. And then we'll get a medium voltage all the substation here. Should connect everything accordingly. Then we'll use the max voltage wires. Angle connection too sharp. No, you're too sharp. Right, so we got that connection there. We'll need to set up another high voltage switch probably around here. High voltage switch. Build it over there, then we'll... Uh, which connections are we using here? It's the flat... So we'll be using three... Or six voltage up there. And over here we have the... Triple tower, which either eight, oh, it looks like an eight. Yeah, I think it's the eight. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll go around that. Oh, come on. Okay, let's cancel that. Probably there's a way around. Or maybe not. Okay, let's go all the way around there then. Because I wanted to connect there. It's right next to the road there. Alright then. And now we just need to drag the power from here. We may need to actually upgrade some of these wires later on. Probably run right around here. Connect there. That's gonna cost quite a bit in steel and all that. Well, it's actually not too much. It's a little bit, but yeah, we'll start contracting that. Right. And then we can start figuring out if we can fit in... Well, actually, let's... Right, we got the substation there, we got the connections already set up. Uh, so let's continue a bit more with this road. Okay, we'll need to cut that down a tiny bit. Or we can just do that. Could we fit in a small one here is my question. Oh, we absolutely could. Brilliant. Actually, yeah, asphalt all the way over here to that wouldn't be a bad idea. Can we actually... We can switch it from the thing here, luckily. Yeah, I think all the way there as the asphalt road is actually not a bad idea at all. Okay, need to do a bit of a shorter road here then. But yeah, the farm vehicles don't need a huge speed. The 
travel road will be perfectly fine. There we go. Could we fit in something here, maybe? But yeah, that's going to be a huge farming area in here. But, I mean, we need the farming. Right, so let's actually have a look. What can we fit in there? I doubt we can fit in a medium in here. No, we cannot. Maybe two small ones. At least two. We mean a little bit. I can... Let's rotate it a tiny bit. There's two over there. Could we? Ooh, we could fit in one more here. Uh, I'm. Yeah, we might need a second one, but we'll see about that. Like this infrastructure here is set up for one right now. Get in some smaller ones here. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, if we're setting up all the small ones here as well, then second one might not be a terrible idea. A little bit of distance to that. Okay, over here the road is too close, so we can't actually fit in more there. Over here. Oh, the power lines can go over the fields. Well, ain't that lovely. I wonder who could fit in as... No, medium is a bit too big there. Unfortunately, there's like a very small gap here that can actually accommodate it, but... But we'll place it there. I don't want to place too much over here if we want to have the railway. I wonder if we... Right, so there's the power lines over there. We can't place anything in here. If we want to set up a second acro farm, we'd probably want it on this side. And we can have the distribution center bury in the grain from that to that grain storage. Or maybe even set up second uh, distribution center. Actually, what I could do is uh, railways. I'm not going to be building these. No, I, I'd have to flat into terrain. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that then. Uh, yeah, we could wait until... We might as well leave a little bit of room here for it, in case we do need it. So we'll leave that open, and that should still be close enough to the power line there. Right, let's get this uh, secondary road here. Actually, we have a lot of places that still need to be connected. Those have been connected. I'm going to go through all of these, especially the new ones here. Bit of distance so we can fit in that there. Actually, I have an idea here. And then connect this here. Then over here we can probably... Hmm, maybe a problem. I think we're going to connect that one first. We're going to connect that one and go all the way there. That kind of works. I don't think I want to start building these roads quite yet. I want to plan them out. Right, I think we can actually continue along here. We'll go relatively close to the farm, so there's going to be a bit extra room on this side. But, well, it's a bit too steep. I don't think I can fit any more farms in there. I might be able to fit in a small one or two around here. Connect that one. It's already connected. 
through that there. Let's uh, figure out a bit more, at least the small fields, we can easily fit in a few more here. There's one there. Okay, we can't quite place it this close, although... Oh, I have an idea. Around there. Could we... Hmm. There's plenty of room there. Could we fit in another medium here? No, I think... No, we can't fit a medium there. No big ones either, but we could certainly put in some smaller ones here. I'll soon see what sort of devious plan I have. I actually fit in one more here. Ooh, I could. Maybe one on the opposite side. Alright, I think that's <laughs> quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a row through here, if we can. Rotate it a little bit so we can see where we're trying to go through these trees. there so it's not going to interfere with the rest of the road building there and connect this one here get a connection over here on the field on the left and connect all of these Now then, over here, what I have in mind is we're going to do a road through this gap here. Connection there, there, and then connection through here. And then that one. But that's a lot of road that we need to build at some point. Yeah, we probably do need a second one. Okay, so let's set up the second one here already. Okay, we need flat terrain. Can we find a good location around here? It needs to be close enough so that we can use the farm still, or the electricity. And that might be a problem. I wonder if we could. And technically, if we take that smaller one away... Uh, no, it's still gonna hit the roads in there. Oh... Yeah, it is. Okay. That's not an option. On the other hand, we could set up just a second uh, area around here, so... Just need to find a place where we can actually fit it, and we can just drag the electricity from that. We've got room. On the other hand... If we want to set up more farms around here... We could set the second farm somewhere around here. Although, no, I think we need to set up it somewhere around here, rather. So where can we find a location that it could fit? Technically around here. That would be a bit far away, though. We go across the road. Maybe. Oh yeah, we did contract the road there already. Hmm. Like, I'd rather keep it somewhere near, but on the other hand... Hmm. You know, it needs flat terrain. Okay, over here, if we... Do a bit of terraforming, we could fit it in here. But we need to bring in the electricity here then, and that's going to be a long trip, so 
Hmm. Tricky one. But what about if we were to do a bit of terraforming over here too? Let into that corner, for example. All oh, right, we need to use some money on this one. Still not flat terrain. Okay, well, let's. How about if we actually flatten it? We can use a little bit of money. It's a grand project, but if it works. Okay, now we're gonna actually just start flattening it directly. We have a little bit extra room, so if we want, we'll be able to set up the extra grain storage here. Come on, now I lost it. There we go. Uh, we'll assign that. Get the road connection, hopefully. Uh, it kind of works. Or maybe not. Hmm. I mean, if I'm willing to use a bit of money here, then I can... No! Okay, that's going to use all our cash. Not what I wanted. Damn you, game. Okay, well, we'll just see how bad is it. Bad. It is really bad. Yeah, we're currently at zero. Okay, uh, we can cancel the contract there, at least. Because how much is that? Four to five thousand. Okay. Uh. Oh crap. Yeah, the roads have been made. At least that's true. Let's uh, suspend all the constructions. I wish there was a way to do it uh, quickly. Yeah, that was 400,000 in roads. And now we'll probably be missing our payments for the loan. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a small loan, like one year loan, for 400,000. True, I suppose I could go for the auto save. Because I, I don't want to lose all that money. We'll just see how much we actually lost. I mean, we have the five minute auto saves. Okay, so it has not happened yet. Good. We didn't actually place down. Oh, right, yeah, we were flattening the terrain there. Right, well, now that we know that. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Construct the road. Yeah, it's quite a bit. The manpower is more, probably what costs so much because 7,000 work days. But yeah, we'll start constructing manually. Then we'll place down the acro farm, hopefully. Now we're going to use this to flatten and connect directly to the road there.
No, it doesn't want to connect there, okay. I sense there might be another problem. Yep. Okay, let's get rid of this one then. Right, um, let me do a bit more flattening. Using a lot of money. Can we place it down yet? No, we need to flatten again, but I think we're going to do it this time. This is a massive construction area here, but... Come on, please work. Yes! There we go. And technically, if we flatten the terrain a little bit here, we should be able to fit in a second crane storage if need be. Wait. Oh no, it's still using the money, isn't it? Okay, we may need to click through these then. I don't think it's... no, it might be quite a few of these. Around here at least. Okay, that one's not auto-constructing. That one is. That one is. I don't need the bridges yet. New vehicle type available, right? Are they constructing the... No, I think most of these are... Right, it was only the stuff that they started building because I connected one of the factories or something. Just making sure that we're not building any of the buildings here. And I think we might be on the clear now. Because these are manual constructions. Okay, if we unpause... Uh, there's not a huge search, so we may have bought most of them at least. Apparently not that one, but not the end of the world. Alright then. So we got everything pretty much connected. That's connected even... Yeah, okay, good. Okay. That was uh, stress-inducing. And yeah, there's going to be plenty of farming area and we could technically set up a bit more around here. So now that we have that set up, let's see if we could fit in a bit more. We'll go with normal speed. See if we can't fit in anything here. Not necessarily much of the big ones. We could actually fit one here. Although... There's a bit awkward position there. Let's say we put it on that side. Could we fit in... Probably fit in some smaller ones there. And maybe around here as well. Right, I suppose we could fit in some mediums over here. one there and so we're kind of trying to fit as much around here as possible we might be even able to set up a second food factory area somewhere maybe around here for example that would be feeding food both there and then 
around here and maybe around here if there's going to be another housing area there. So is that, that is pretty much all the medium ones that we're going to fit in here. I'm pretty sure unless something, well, something awkward like this maybe, but I don't think I want to place it quite that awkward. That needs flat terrain. Where's that one there? Some small ones here. Uh, I think we can call this the Crimea. At least we can fit in a lot of small fields here still. Okay, so that is needing a bit extra there, but I suppose... Oh, well, I mean, that works. <laughs> um, it might. But what I'm thinking is, I'll basically set up uh, that farm over there to take care of these farms here and the farms on the island. And then this farm will take care of these uh, on this area here. But I want my farms, okay? Unless we need to import crops from elsewhere, the better. Yeah, we have been using quite a bit of crops. Oh, we can actually put in small farms on top of it. Okay. So we got an entire hill of small farms here then. Alright then. Yeah, you may be onto something. We may need a third farm here. I wonder if we could place it down on top of here. We could. We most certainly could. We'd need to bring in power here, though, and that's going to be a problem. I actually... Hmm... I have a plan. Because there's not a lot of extra room around here. So what I can do... I can get rid of this one. Maybe that one. And I can build a ship... Or a harbour in... Here. Splattening it a little bit. Hmm. What's we where to place it there? We need to flatten it first, so we'll use the money for that. Don't use the money anymore. We place this here. Then we can set up the Can we actually get the road up here? Maybe. Oh yes we can. So we can probably fit in some small ones over here. Instead of that. Also, I think I want to have a grain storage there. Let's, uh... Without any connections first. Say we place it down here. And we get the factory connection working through there. Oh, that's cancel, not build. Whoops. Okay, uh, not directly. If we were to flatten that a little bit. Yeah, we may need a distribution center. You're not wrong. Actually, we'll probably need a big one over here. 
Oh, we could use a big one here. There we go, see that? I didn't mean to use money there, but oh well. Let's cancel that before I forget. And let's go for the distribution center. Let's see how much room we are going to need, but we'll use the medium one here. Need to flatten the terrain a tiny bit. I think we can manage. Right, so again, use that to flatten the terrain and cancel it. Right, then we can get the road from here to connecting there. But we do want to have this road first. Now this is a five-year plan. <laughs> well, need to. I need to think for the future, you know. Oh, we need to cancel a little bit of that. Now we can connect there, we can connect this one and that one. We can maybe connect this all the way here. I don't think we can fit a small field over here anymore. No. Unfortunate. Understandable. We can fit a small one over here though. Or maybe around here. I mean this would work as well. See how close we could place it there. Seriously? Could I place it here? How close to the bridge? Very close. <laughs> oh boy. Oh too steep, okay. Uh so the road over here is gonna be a problem. Unless no, it's still too Okay. I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's use this to connect over here. Like, that's maybe a bit too much. I will do a connection down this way. Connection there, connection there. I wonder if we... Actually, we might be able to put it on here instead. Mole fields are not high yield, but you can fit a crap ton of them. In very small spaces. It can't fit one quite here. Could fit one here. Cool. Right, let's uh, get the road around here again. Can we actually build a road through here is the question. That might be a problem if we can't. Ah oh, no, it is possible. <laughs> now I'm using the stream titles as uh, episode titles on YouTube. But this is still going to be paying loans. Which, well we have paid a little bit at least. Not full loan. Right, then we need a road connection through here. And then we'll need to think about what we're going to do with our life. Well, and especially with the extra farm that we'll put on top of the hill. So those are being connected for the most part. We can connect that one. We don't touch those quite yet. Over here, can we... A bit tight over there. So what we're going to have to do is the... Good old... Build a row through there and then just connect to that one. 90 degree angles. Right, we may want to actually go through there a little bit so we can connect to that without an issue. There we go, so that's quite a few connections there. 
pretty sure that everything so far is connected. We do need to have a electricity around here. And for that, actually, hmm, could we put in a switch around here? Is the question. Also, we never put in electricity for the second farm area here. Wait, no, we put it. No, we didn't put it there, so we put it over here. So we don't need to worry about that, but we do need to worry about getting the connection from here somewhere. We're going to have to use the large one, well, big connections there. So what I could do... Uh, infrastructure, high voltage, cancel the wire there. And we have a high voltage switch. There's something like this, I think. Well, it's a not too bad of a connection. Just have to make sure that we are not using money for those. So we're using the 8 voltage wires here. That we can connect. That we can connect. Hold on. I saw, I saw green there somewhere. I suppose that's good enough. Like, wherever you can fit them, please do. Hmm, this is a bit tricky. Okay, let's cancel that one. And see if we can't get a little bit closer first. Then maybe we can get across. Oh no, it's. Wait, what? That, that I could build one in the field there. Momentarily. Oh, yeah. Can't actually connect across the field, unfortunately. Okay, um. Could we maybe go around here then? That might be better. Let's cancel these. This one probably doesn't need... Oh, we'll use the 8 megawatts because we'll be using them anyway. We connect there. Damn it, it doesn't work. Okay, let's think about it. Can we actually... Oh, we can build these without connecting directly. So we can find connection here first. Then that can be connected. Okay, I think we are onto something here. Can we connect all the way... Oh, yes, we can. Okay, then we just need the transformer here. Somewhere. Essentially wherever we can fit it, really. On the other hand, do we want to take it all the way to the top? Probably not quite all the way to the top, but... Essentially wherever we can fit it, really. Uh, would there be enough uh, flat terrain somewhere around here? Now, I'd rather build it close. The infrastructure is getting in the way there. He's flat terrain. Okay, this one would work. We just need to flatten the terrain a tiny bit. I think I can work with that. Although, if we don't want to use the connection, then it's complaining about the infrastructure there, so... What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up all the roads to be manually built again. So that we don't have the catastrophe from before. That's a repeat. Transformer. Uh, now we're going to use the rubles. Oh, come on. Okay, now we're going to place it. 
Come on, there was a place earlier. Don't you do this to me again. There we go. Place that one. Use the eight megawatts. Can we... Hold on, there was a place over here somewhere. Oh, come on. Okay, what we're gonna do... We're gonna get a wire from here. Okay, that's not gonna work. Quite that way anyway. And then we connect this across the water here. There we go. So now we have power in this island. Oh boy. It's a little bit complicated, I'd say. Right, then we want to have a connection on this one. We'll probably build this one here. And get a probably very simple connection through there. Then we'll need a substation over here. So now we need to figure out where we place down the farm. And for that we probably need... Oh, hold on. There's exactly... Well, actually there's a bit extra space there so we can place it down there. We place that one, then we need the grain storage. And we actually... Oh! Now, if I could only see if it's connected or not. That would be a nice game. It seems to be. Let's rotate all the way here. Oh yeah, it is connecting. There we go. Now the question is, do we need to get another gas station here as well? Because there's going to be... The gas station over there is a bit far away, so yes, we kind of do want to have another gas station. Right. So now we need to figure out a place for that. Suppose we can just place it down this way. Right, now we just need a substation, get the roads and a hex ton of small farms. So let's get the substation here, somewhere. Suppose we can place it down there. Then what I can do is I can track the whole wire from here already. On the bright side, these uh, smaller wires are actually going to use on board. There we go. So we can now manually build those. Then we just need to set up the road. So we'll... Okay, we need to do this bit by bit. Oh. Right, overlaps with the power lines there. Okay, that's going to be a bit tricky. There we go. So that's another road done. Now the question is, how much can we fit on this side still? And how much can we fit on top of the hill? Like, there's still plenty of real, real estate here. Or potatoes. I'm pretty sure that we can't fit... Oh, we could actually fit in a medium field on top of here. Yes, please. We fit another one. Don't think so. I mean, one is more than zero. Math hack of the day. Right, I suppose it's back to small ones. Wonder, could we fit in several smaller ones here? 
Can we also place one there and could we... Maybe over here we could place a second one. What about on... Ooh, I could actually place one here, but... Oh, there's not going to be a lot of room there, so I may, I may need to get rid of this one. I should probably let the time run. Yeah, I can probably put at least one here. Oh, right. Let me actually put in the high voltage wires to be manually bit as well. Before the game decides to use money on building those or something. Okay, if we... Actually, yeah, we can go around there. No, these here and this can be connected there. I don't think it's going to be used a lot, but it can be. Continue the road there, and continue the road here. And connect this one. We'll need a new fire station. You're not wrong. Well, it's going to require workers, so there, there is going to be another fire station around there. Which is going to be at least a lot closer. I could probably set up another fire station there. I don't think I can, like, getting the workers to the fire station is going to be a problem here. Right, so we got all those connected. So now let's go and fill in this area here. Okay, there's a bit less room around here. We'll probably connect this one. Uh, I don't... well, maybe somewhere around in the back. Possibly. Or we can get rid of some of the smaller fields there, maybe. Put one there, then we can probably fit in another one around here. Like, this is about... Uh, dozens of small fields already here. I, I don't know, maybe around 48 or something like that. It's still not done. Right, so I can't fit anything over here anymore. There's one there, then we're gonna put in a lot around here. We'll a bit of a gap between the farm and this area. Is that the second uh, line of farms on this side? Like, sure, it was all forest before. Now it's going to be glorious farms for the Republic. I suppose I could fit in a bit more around here. Uh, I'm going to take a bit more distance so I can link to the same crossroads there. I know that's not flat enough. Alright then. set up uh, another farm there. We can probably leave a small gap there in case we want to put something in behind there. There's going to be a road through there. I'm actually going to place these right next to that and rotate these around.
<laughs> You'll see it in a little bit. I'll show it. It's gonna be very black. Except when the fields are growing, then it's gonna be very yellow. Can you fit in another one here? I don't think so. Nope. Right, I think that's about it. In terms of filling all of this. So now just getting the road. Generate another name on the island. Yeah, that was uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, we do need to name these at some point. I'm probably not going to be doing that today. Right, get the connections down this way. Now, building all of these roads is going to take forever. But once they're ready, they will be glorious. Right, let's get a road through here first. And maybe through here. Well, this long road here so we can link to it. We'll need to build this long road here. Which actually... I think we're going to do it this way. Probably the easiest. Then we can just cancel that road. I'm going to cancel the rest of that actually in just a few moments. Well, actually, now that we've got that connected, let's see, can we connect this there easily? Uh, well, it does connect. The less say about it is probably better. Like, building all these gravel roads would probably take a mountain or something. It will connect over there then. Just checking, is there any connections over here missing? I mean, over here there's plenty. But we do need to do this portion again. Actually, if we do a connection there and just connect to that, that's probably the easiest way. Do an overshoot there, and then we can cancel that. Right, so those have already been... Just a few thousand tons of gravel, a few hilltops. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go, so we got those connected. There's still this area that needs to be connected, and right, we wanted to have the road through here. Right there. Lines up rather nicely. I did want to have a road connection around here. <laughs> the reason why Denmark is flat. Um, possibly. But I deny everything. Yeah, this, uh, these two are not connected yet. I'm just setting up the general road here, and then I'll do the connections. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite done yet. Don't you worry. Hello, Peter. How's it going? Right, so I wanted to continue this road over here. Through the woods here. And... There we go. And then we can connect that there. Right, so which ones have I missed? 
Oh, these two. Right, now it looks like everything's more or less connected. So let's uh, make sure that we start building that manually. And then let's open the minimap. It's... It's rather dark over here. Yeah, we will be farming. I mean, we have some farms over here in uh, mini Ukraine already. But these are not enough for a glorious nation. So we kind of set up a uh, new farming area. So let's get the minimap out of the way. So there's all of this is essentially farming areas. There's also a uh, fabric factory and clothes factory going to be around here. We got a bridge going on in here and then we got a harbor in here where we can load up all the crops from these regions to be transported back to here for the bread factory area. <laughs> Which would... Yeah, th there was no forest here. It was only farms, always, I swear. There's a little bit of trees there, I suppose. But yeah, uh, this is probably going to be plenty of farming. Hopefully, we got three farms set up here. There's two on here. One will take care of this area, and second one will take care of this area. And then there's this one, which has a bloody massive amount of smaller farms here. But mostly it's small farms all around here. There's a few larger ones, but mostly it's small ones. Right, let's unpause for a moment again. Right, that's probably going to keep the construction offices busy. I mean, they don't have a huge amount of connections that they can actually work on. And did we get the bridge? Oh, we got the bridge completed. Huzzah! That took a while. I think we're going to speed up again. Right, we got the trucks over here. They're not actually doing anything. That means that the trucks over here are probably not doing... Well, they're doing a little bit more. Uh, no, I don't think they... I mean... We can probably reach here. At least there's some travel over here, so that kind of points to the fact that they are working on this one. A little bit surely. And I believe... Yeah, we got this one completed. Oh, that's technically assigned. What about this one? That's not. Okay. But that was mostly just planning ahead. I don't expect it to be up and running anytime soon. And these forklifts are busy. How much? Ooh, we got a lot of food here. Just not a lot of alcohol. Which is pro oh right. Okay, well, once we get the workers in there, then these two trucks should be leaving with full bellies of alcohol. And then we got another. Yeah, we got two trucks bringing in crops here as soon as that that's opened. Right then, let's have a look at this year's uh, total stats. So about 800,000 profit. We did use a fair bit on the foreign manpower accidentally. And there was the vehicles that we imported. We've imported about 1 million worth of uh, stuff. It's only end of October, so we've got two more months and we're already at 2.3 million exports. Slightly less than the last year. Oh, well, we're getting some exports now. And I'm guessing, actually, how much have we exported all this year? As uh, almost 1800 tons last year was a bit less than six, uh, 17, so yeah, we imported quite a bit more. Not imported, exported. Few exports, it's already going out again. Oh, god damn it, you're doing it again. You can't get off there. You know what? Now you can. That was a bit of a traffic jam again. Now they're working on the cargo station here. As soon as we get this cargo station completed, then that's going to fix a lot of problems that we'd be having here. There we go. We're gaining some money now. I'm guessing there's still hundreds of people. Oh, yes. 500 people waiting in front of the shop. 
I might need another one here, quite frankly, or just get a bigger one. Right, 1st of November. No, it's gonna arrive soon. We'll see. Actually, we do have a bit extra money, so I'm gonna buy two of these here, so we'll have a bit better coverage on the road here. Plus, over here we got six. I'm gonna buy another two here as well. It's gonna cost a fair bit. But in the end, it's probably gonna be worth it because we'll be able to keep most of the roads clear for the winter. Oh, and... Yeah, we are working on this one. It's too short to have an excavator there, but... Getting a lot of work, horse. Should be done with that soon. Oh, and since we did that, we're not actually working on this one. So what we can do is we can actually upgrade this bit of road here. I think next time we will start planning ahead on the city here. We'll need to figure out where to put in the rails and all that sort of stuff. And actually, what we're going to do with the rails is most likely we'll... Oh no, we don't want to use bridges though. Because the railway bridges are bloody expensive. But the railway needs to go... Hmm... I suppose if I place it down here so that it's a bit out of the way, but still close enough on foot to be reached from the central area so that they can step on the train and go all the way down here to work at the steel factory or steel mill rather not factory and that is I don't even want to count how many farms that is too many to count there's all sort of road I mean that could also work if we place it down here although I, well the problem is you can't really have footpaths over the railway. I mean, you can have a bridge going over it, but even the bridges are sometimes a bit problematic. Yeah, I suppose it goes right along the outside here. We still, I do want to have some, uh, well, at least a passenger station somewhere around here for ships, or somewhere along this shoreline here. They're working fast on this one. And that one needs a bit more work. Oh, actually, needs more asphalt. Which is on its way. Bring in more workers. Oh, it's the both of the newer trucks here. That's not too bad. Means that we'll get the work done rather soon. I mean, if we are going to connect over there to the warehouse, although, no, I, I don't think I'm going to do the bridge or the railway all the way around. So yeah, we could have it on somewhere around here, for example, and then just connect that way. Probably the better idea. So we can uh, build more freely here and then we'll just have to work with the railway. I mean, over here, we'll probably have a secondary city somewhere around here, which might have a bus or the railway connection there as well. But if that is going to be a lot of crops produced here, then wait till we get to the proper Ukraine, or the big Ukraine here. Which is what this entire big island here is called. Or what we are calling it anyway. Because that's almost entirely flat and a rather large area, so we can fit in a lot of enormous farms there. That's going to be the bread basket. But that means that after once we have the big Ukraine running, we don't need to farm anywhere else other than 
what we have already. Oh, it's gonna be so massive. So over here we need the steel and electronic components. We don't actually own any electronic components, do we? No, we don't. We could buy some. They are bloody expensive though. But 24 sounds almost 100,000. That is a salty price. I think I am going to buy that, because we are going to need them. I mean, we've still done a profit this year, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's have a look at the loans right now. So we are down to 2.9 million. That's a daylight robbery, I know. Oh, don't worry. As soon as we have the gulags available, we'll put the... People responsible for that in there instead. Unfortunately, that might take a while. Oh, right, yeah, that was the distribution center. I thought that would be the... That one, but nope. The technical service. Oh, right, and since we've done all of this, we could actually operate a bit more of the road here. Get the road connection all the way... Actually... No, we don't want to upgrade both of these at the same time. But we do want to up... Well... Is this empty? No, it's not. Okay. On the other hand, do we... I suppose we... No, 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 no. If there's a fire... Or rather, when there's a fire, I don't want to be upgraded both of those. But we'll just let it be that way. We've got a lot of crops waiting here. Are they? Okay, the trucks from there are at least moving. We may need a third truck, though. On the other hand, though, while well, there's plenty over there, is there a lot of... Okay, we just run out of domestic crops again. We do not actually have the truck coming this way. Or maybe we do. Now, is that loading or unloading? That's unloading. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're the... Right. Delivering alcohol to the pubs and liquor stores and all that. Until 1991 to be a powerful republic. I mean, we have forever to be glorious. I mean, the previous one I did reach... Like, 2000. I don't remember the exact year that we reached. It was like 2001 or 2003 or something like that. Right, the moment of truth. Will these actually keep the roads clear all the way? I certainly hope so. These don't seem to be... Yep. Okay, so the factory connections are not affected by the winter. That's good to know. Have we actually done any work on... Oh, well, we are working on this area. Slowly but surely. Now, these won't be connected to anything for a long while, but it's alright. Actually, on that road, we might be able to get... At least this one constructed. I'm not sure if we'll be able to reach all the way here. Probably not. At some point, we do need to build this one, but this is clearly too far away. I'm actually pretty happy how much uh, farms I managed to fit in here. It's quite a few. Now we'll see if we'll actually be farming them efficiently or not, but that's a issue for another time. Potentially on Wednesday. And speaking of Wednesday, uh, the Wednesday stream will potentially be delayed a little bit. I'm not home in the morning. I'm not entirely sure when I'll be getting home, but I will be streaming. Like, I have arranged that, but I just might be delayed a tiny bit. But I'll let you guys know in Discord once I do know when I'm, I'll be home on Wednesday. I 
I mean, the thing is, sure, it has a lot of areas to farm, but everything is so small. So the sowing and all that will be done relatively quickly, and the small farms grow rather quickly as well. So we'll be able to start harvesting the first ones probably already in July. And we can sow most of the fields. I'm pretty sure we'll manage. We'll go with the 354, so 3 sowing, 5 harvesting, and 4 trucks. I think that will work. We'll probably go with that same for all of these. We're up to 237,000 right now. We're still exporting. I believe we are exporting oil. Yes, we are. Oh, we already hit 2.6 million. Probably gonna hit... We might be hitting uh, 2.7 rather soon and... We might actually hit already at least 2.8 this year. I don't think we'll reach quite 3 million yet, but that's going to be something that we'll probably do next year. Especially since these are filling up quite nicely. Oh, and a lot of these roads are being kept clear. That road less so, but it's alright. And that road is clear. That road, okay, so they are actually doing a pretty good job here. Well, a little bit around here that we could do. And upgrade that road. And slowly but surely we do need to upgrade these roads here near the hospital. How's this going? Ah, uh, need steel. Okay, I suppose we could import a bit. Because we have run out. Like that, so we'll still go, I'll stay over 200,000 at least. That will be enough to build a fair bit of things. Oh right, and we got a lot of boards here. Not exactly a thing that we needed. I'm gonna not take any workers here right now because we won't be using these boards quite yet. We want to use the boards from here first. I still got plenty in there. And then of course we still got plenty of wood here that we could be using. Right, so we're getting another set of crops here. Which we still have 500 tons here. Oh boy. At least we got a lot of trucks that can be taking it to places. Spillery is going to need a lot more deliveries though. There's quite a few trucks heading this way. Although some of them are taking the alcohol away and not bringing in crops. But okay, we got up to 18 tons of crops there. But since we used the crops so quickly. Yeah, already running out. And yeah, okay, so they can't keep the road quite clear. They can keep them mostly clear. Although they have. Okay, so they're right around here, apparently. Where are you heading? Are you going back to the. Oh, I see. Right, so how much do we have? A bit less than 600. How much are the imports this year versus last year? Good question. So this year, we imported 10, or almost 11 tons of crops. Whereas last year we imported a lot more actually. Interesting. Like, yeah, it has had, a, had an effect. Not necessarily a huge effect, but it is still an effect that can be noticed. Although we still, well, we got half a month time. I don't think we'll be using all of that. Now, some of that might be due to the standstills that we had in the production while we were updating the logistics near the factory. Then... We've imported, well, actually, we imported quite a bit of meat at one point there. 
Oh, there's quite a bit. Oh, but that was because of the logistical issues. Right. And same probably with the food, yep. For the fair bit steel. And then clothes and electronics are, of course, bloody massive portions of that. Total. And then the electronic components, 95,000. What the hell? Yeah, once we get the clothes factory going, that will lower our import requirements quite a bit again. We'll probably need to import the chemicals, of course. We shouldn't be too bad. And our loans are now 2.8 and a half. So it's been going down and it is quite noticeable now that we're not paying multiple loans, but only one loan at a time. Not, all, not three loans, but two loans, so we pay a fair bit less. Yeah, the chemical import is not a huge amount per ton, or huge tonnage, but it's still quite a bit per ton. And it's true, I mean, we'll make quite a bit of cloth. Actually, let's have a quick look at how much does it produce from the half a ton? Or from a, let's say, from a ton of cloth, uh, chemicals, it uses, no, it's used in fabrics. Right, so from one ton you get 10 tons of fabric, and from 10 tons of fabric you can get a, a bit less than 5 tons of uh, clothes. If we have a look at the price difference between chemicals, so buy price 4800 and clothing is by okay it's about the same so we definitely make a profit in there especially if all the savings that we do with that is going to be quite massive comparatively oh we upgraded that road good how many things are we working on right now there's only two roads that we're working on i'm pretty sure that i know both of them oh right so there's one over there Where's the other one? I'm a bit puzzled. Oh right, yeah, it's the one that we started upgrading here. And it's almost completed. Uh, yeah, they are a bit expensive. Building is on fire. Distribution center, oh crap. No fire truck. Oh, oh crap. Oh no. Okay, um. Temperature in the building is too low. Okay. Right. I guess we need to do some building here. Question is, where can we fit it? Needs to be within reach of that. Uh, first of all, we need to get the fire station. Do we have a bus bringing in workers? We no, that's driving away. So where can we place this without it being in the way of everything else? And I could place it down here, but the distance to drive would grow quite a bit. If we place it down there, it's too far away from the bus stop. But yeah, I think this is kind of our only option here. Place it down there. We can get the footpath connection over there. We'll buy that. Get a road connection. We can't use that, unfortunately. Seriously? Oh, come on. Are you seriously saying that I can't use that one? Okay, so I can't use that one. Damn it. 
Can I drive it? I can use that one. Okay. We know what to do. We've done spaghetti roads before. I'll just have to do it again. Use money to build that. We're going to have to use money to build this. There we go. And then we just need to buy a fire truck. Which one is the... Okay, that's speed 10, that's speed 12, that's speed 12. Buy oh, one of these. Temperature is too low. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so we need to set up a... heating station here. Although, it might be able to work without that, but... Yeah, it's heading out now. We just need to get the workers in here. Is there a bus heading this way? Please, please, please. Are you going there? Sakoi, is that the correct place? Yes, okay, we have... We have a uh, bus on its way. Oh yeah, we do need a heating station as well. Okay, everyone's there. There we go. That's saved. Oh boy. Well, at least we now have all of this uh, under control. Nothing else, but yeah, um, I think... A heating plant, maybe somewhere around here wouldn't be a terrible idea. I would have a road connection through here easily. We'd be able to connect through the footpath there. And then we'd be able to use the heating over here for all the chemical plants and such. And then maybe to set up a pumping station or something over here. So that it doesn't lose too much. But yeah, we can have a heat exchange somewhere around here. Gonna be a bit tricky to build, but we're gonna fit it there at some point. I believe the farms themselves don't need it. So it's only the factories. Oh boy. Okay, that was a bit stressful. We've still got quite a bit of crops there. Got quite a bit of crops here. The ships are still bringing in more. This is gonna get filled rather quickly, I feel like. Well, actually, all that quickly. Oh, and the forklifts are still running around. It's a good thing that we got the food there. Uh, oh, right. I'm waiting for. I'm just saying building is too low. Wait, is this not working on full speed then? Probably not. Increase that. I mean, this is working full speed, but I suspect that the because it's being pumped all the way, isn't it? So the building over here is yeah, it goes down a little bit. Okay, let's have a look. What does it say on the efficiency here? It doesn't say anything. Okay, we'll put this in full power. I mean, we got the workers around here. We can do that easily. Because that ambulance is from the big hospital, by the looks of it. We got a lot of, at least, the vehicles there. So, majority of this road, at least, is come or clear all the way here. And heating plant... It's running a bit low on coal. But that's not great. Again, once we get the aggregate unloading here, that is going to fix a lot of issues for that, but it might not fix it completely. Actually, have a look at this. It doesn't say... Okay, the temperature over here seems fine. What about this one? Over here, it drops a fair bit already. Over here it says...
Okay. Interesting. But it's first of January, so I will be in the stream here. I should be back on Wednesday. I'll announce in Discord, or at least mention it in Discord once I know what time I'll be starting. But hopefully I'll be able to start on the regular time. If not, then we'll start maybe an hour or two late, or later, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I will be back also on Friday. We'll probably lot row with the guys and then Sunday with more Port Royal 4. But anyway, thank you all for watching and until next time, bye bye.